What is up guys, I hope everyone is doing well. The holiday season is finally in full swing and it's time to go out and buy some gifts for our family and friends etc. So in this video I wanted to put together a little gift guide, maybe some tech ideas etc that you guys might want to pick up for a loved one or even just go ahead and treat yourself. As always, all the links to the products will be down below in the description just in case you want to go ahead and check them out. So first off, let's start with something I feel that every Nintendo Switch owner should have. That product is the Light Up Dock Shield from PDP. So to start this retails for only £20 here in the UK and $19 in the US and when paired with your original dock it looks absolutely fantastic and it pretty much brings to life an otherwise boring dock that you get with your Nintendo as standard. Just in case you're not a Zelda fan there is also an extra shield included for Mario fans or you can even go ahead and buy the new Pokemon edition if you wish. The lighting can be controlled on the rear using the buttons and you can set up certain effects or just have standalone colours etc. If you know a Switch owner then I would definitely go ahead and pick this up for them, they will definitely not be disappointed and for the price you really can't go wrong. So next up we have one of my favourite pickups this year and that is the Nomad Base Station Apple Watch Edition. Fear not though Android lovers as this is available without the Apple Watch charger and this wonderfully crafted base station will allow you to wirelessly charge up to three different devices at once. And as you can see we have that awesome built in Apple Watch charger that makes for a killer combo. So when it comes to design, Nomad never cuts corners. The base has a lovely padded leather while the body itself is crafted from aircraft grade aluminium and finished in a lovely matte black. I will be giving one of these away along with loads of other Nomad accessories in an upcoming video so just make sure you're subscribed and that notification bell is pressed just so you don't miss out on that. So this year I decided it was time to step up my smart home game and what better way to do it than add the Google Home Hub and Google Mini into the mix. Even if you're just starting out, these products are fantastic. First off, the Home Hub arrives with a 7 inch HD touchscreen and obviously has Google Assistant on board allowing you to take control of your home if you have any other smart appliances of course like lighting, thermostats etc or even just go ahead and ask it silly questions, play music and even YouTube videos etc. Design wise it will fit into any home and comes in four colours to match your decor. Moving on to the mini, it does pretty much all of the same but without that display so it's a little more discreet. I now have four minis in the house along with the hub and I practically use them every day. Even if it's just when I'm in the bathroom and I want to play some music while I'm in the shower etc or maybe watch some YouTube videos while I'm in the kitchen doing my cooking. It's just as simple as going ahead and saying those magic words. So I won't go ahead and say them just in case you own any of these products, I don't want to set them off. So if you know anybody that is into technology then this would definitely be an awesome gift. Even if they don't have any other smart home appliances this is a great way to start. Next up is a gift any smartphone user will appreciate especially a clumsy one and that is dome glass from Whitestone. These tempered glass screen protectors are by far the best available in my opinion and if you look on YouTube many top tech YouTubers would agree. The fitting process well it is a bit out there but you get a perfect fit with no air bubble and if you utilise a case then you will be happy to know that it won't lift like others on the market. Honestly I know this is a bit pricey but when smartphones are costing upwards of a thousand dollars these days then protecting them should be your priority and I always stand by these. I will be ordering one for my Apple Watch Series 4 shortly as they've just released that and honestly these have never let me down. If you follow me on Instagram you've probably seen a few smashed ones on my stories that have definitely saved me um, a lot of money. So. If you know any smartphone users, definitely consider picking one of these up. So moving back to gaming, my keyboard of choice at the minute is a new Corsair K70 Mark II Low Profile Edition. Design wise, if you have utilised the K70 before, not much has changed. We still have that lovely brushed aluminium frame, dedicated media keys, RGB lighting for unlimited customization and the ability to go ahead and store profiles directly onto the keyboard. But what is new is the exclusive low profile rapid fire cherry switch. 
As you can see, if we put the keycap next to the standard size one, the difference is pretty huge. The new switch is 1mm tall as opposed to 2mm, giving you half the actuation distance. While gaming, I have definitely noticed that I can press keys a lot quicker. And while it's not going to make you a better gaming guru overnight, it's definitely an advantage worth having. Of course, you can customise the K70 utilising Corsair's IQ software. And in here, you can go ahead and set up macros, customise the lighting, and you can go ahead and choose from many different effects or static colours, etc. Overall, if you have a loved one that is into PC gaming, then they will definitely thank you for this. The rapid fire switch is definitely one of my favourites. It's also available in red, I'm pretty sure, so there is that option. So moving on to gaming mice, and we have the wireless Logitech G903. While the G903 is wireless, I would say while utilising it, that it's as seamless as a wired alternative. And that's why many gamers around the world choose this as their go-to wireless option. Design-wise, it looks great. It has up to 11 programmable keys, which is just insane. And it also supports wireless charging if paired with the PowerPlay mat. Most importantly, how is it for gaming? Well, honestly, I have really enjoyed my time with it. You can adjust the DPI from 200 all the way up to 12,000. And with a weight of 110 grams, it is easy enough to throw around. If you want to customise it, you can utilise Logitech software, and in here you can customise and set up profiles with custom DPIs, you can jump in and set up the RGB lighting, you can obviously set up all your buttons, and you can check the battery status, which in all honesty is decent. The only downside that I can think of for this mouse is the price, it's expensive, especially if you pair it up with the PowerPlay map, but in my opinion, if you want to go wireless, it's definitely worth checking this out. Next up is a product I get asked about often and that is a Netgear Nighthawk XR500 gaming router. So what makes a router a gaming router? First off, let's take a quick look at the design. The XR500 looks mean as hell with those sharp edges. On the front you have your LED panel that lets you know what's going on and on the side you will find two USB 3.0 ports and moving on to the rear we have five gigabit ethernet ports, one WAN and four LAN, the power port, a reset switch and the ability to turn the LEDs on the front off which I think is an awesome inclusion and all routers should allow you to do that as I find flashing lights etc very distracting so if it's in your eyes view etc it's really nice just to be able to turn those off. So with a router signal is obviously vital and with these four high performance antenna it certainly gets the job done and these can be moved in any direction you choose or you can remove them if you wish. Okay, so what makes this a gaming router? Well, if we hop onto the dashboard, you will see that the XR500 is powered by Duma OS and in turn allows you many options to improve your network. Let's take a quick look around this. First off, your dashboard will give you your network overview, showing you download and upload speeds along with the status of your wireless, etc. Next up, my favourite feature, and that is Geofilter. If you play games like Call of Duty, etc., then you will know that sometimes you get put into lobbies far away and that in turn increases your ping, giving you a major disadvantage. Well, this software allows you to set a range on the servers you're willing to connect to and it filters the rest out ensuring you can have a seamless experience and it can be set on a per device basis, so that's pretty awesome. You also have the ability to whitelist or block certain servers to ensure you get the best every single time. Moving on to the next tab, we have anti-buffer block. To keep this simple, while you are gaming, if someone else on your network decides to download an app or maybe watch Netflix, it causes lag spikes in your game, thus in turn, most likely getting you killed. So in here, you can go ahead and set up a maximum download and upload for others on the network, and that in turn will allow you to dedicate the extra bandwidth to gaming, thus in turn eliminating this issue. You can also go ahead and allocate the bandwidth on a per device basis, so you could give yourself 99% and the wife 1%. Just playing, man. But in all seriousness, this allows you to set your network devices up accordingly to ensure no single device can saturate the bandwidth. In the next tab, we get a nice overview of all the devices connected to our network, and you can obviously go ahead and put restrictions on them or remove them altogether if they are interfering with the most important thing in life, and that is, of course, gaming. In all seriousness, though, if you are really into gaming, then picking up the XR500 definitely wouldn't be a bad idea. I have absolutely loved having this and the fact that I can go ahead and choose what servers I would like to connect to while gaming, especially when I'm playing Call of Duty, 
has made a massive difference to me. So the last gaming gift that I will suggest is Corsair's new Vengeance Pro RGB RAM. This RAM is available in either black or white and arrives in many different capacities and speeds. The dims themselves look great, especially in the white finish. And when plugged into the PC, the new diffused lighting bar looks absolutely stunning. These are controlled via Corsair's IQ software and in here you can set up custom lighting or choose from many different presets. Overall, I would say that any PC enthusiast would love to have these in their system. If you know someone who is into building their own PC or maybe looking to upgrade, then this is definitely worth the consideration. So the last two items on this large gift guide are for audio lovers. First up, we have my go-to travel headset, and that is the One More Triple Driver over-ear headphones. Not only do these produce a lovely sound with their titanium drivers and ceramic tweeters, I find the design to be on point with a blend of textured metals, soft ear cups, and a super comfortable quilted headband. I really have no issue wearing these for long periods of time while traveling, and when not in use, you can easily throw them in the included carry case. Overall, these are the complete package. They have great sound, great comfort, and honestly, if you're looking for a nice set of over-ear headphones, I would definitely check these out. I was not disappointed by these at all. So for those of you who like to work out or skateboard, etc., then having some wireless earbuds is a lot more practical. And I have been using Apple's AirPods, much to my own surprise. I honestly only went ahead and picked these up as I had a few friends who own them and they were banging on about them non-stop, so I decided to go ahead and give them a try. As someone who does a lot of extreme sports, I go to the gym a lot, etc., then it made perfect sense to have some nice wireless earbuds. Comfort-wise, these fit in my ears perfectly and they do not move at all, which is something that is very important. Sound-wise, they won't blow you away, but honestly, they are not terrible. I was pretty impressed by the sound you get, especially for a set of wireless earbuds. And when it comes to battery life, they are on point. And what's more is the included carry case that charges them is just the complete package. So I use these while I'm using my iPhone and also when I'm using my Pixel. So you can use these on Android or iOS. It's really up to you. It makes no difference at all. So that pretty much rounds this gift guide up. I know it was pretty extensive, but I just wanted to give you guys a load of different options. Let me know down below what was your favorite gift and remember to stay tuned for that big giveaway that is coming up in the next few days. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe, be kind to each other, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.